Tra la Sollecitadini Italian for Among the Concerns was a motu proprio issued the 22nd of November 1903 by Pope Pius X that detailed regulations for the performance of music in the Roman Catholic Church. The Italian translation of TLS is the source of the key phase, active participation. That was later repeated in the Second Vatican Council's Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy 1963 that launched a far-reaching transformation of Catholic Church liturgy, although the official Latin version refers to «vehement» or ardent participation. The title is taken from the opening phrase of the document. It begins, «Among the concerns of the pastoral office, a leading one is without question that of maintaining and promoting the decorum of the house of God in which the august mysteries of religion are celebrated. Context By the late 19th century, operatic church music was dominant in Italy. Churches were known to set Latin texts to such secular favorites as the Sextet from Donizetti's Lucia di Lammermoor or the Quartet from Verdi's Rigoletto, a movement for liturgical reform, including scholarship devoted to early church practice and Gregorian chant performance, had developed over the course of the 19th century. Local jurisdictions implemented changes independent of direction from the Vatican. Earlier in his career Pope Pius taught courses on liturgical music and chant to seminarians. In 1888, as Bishop of Mantua, he removed women from church choirs and ended the use of bands. A few years later as Patriarch of Venice, he ended the use of a popular setting of Tantum Ergo, and instituted Sunday Vespers chanted by a choir of men and boys. In 1893, when Pope Leo XIII was considering issuing guidance on liturgical music, the future Pius X submitted a 43-page proposal. A section of that document, substantially unchanged, he issued ten years later, less than four months after becoming Pope, as Tra la Solicitadini. The new rules were adopted more readily in Italy, where the introduction of secular music had been greatest. The reception of TLS in Belgium was termed a dead letter and in France saint saints sided with its opponents, responses to TLS varied with musical tastes, though some pointed to Italy as the proper target of the charge of theatricality. Some Americans protested that the prohibition on women vocalists would simply be ignored, where popular sentiment viewed the choir as an expression of the congregation rather than, as Pius did, as a clerical and therefore exclusively male role. Pope Pius implemented the principles of TLS in his immediate jurisdiction though the Roman Commission on Sacred Music, which he had established in 1901. Topic. Provisions Topic. TLS reaffirmed the primacy of Gregorian chant, which had largely fallen out of favor, and the superiority of Renaissance polyphony, especially that of Giovanni Pierluigi da Palestrina, over other, later polyphonic music. It recognized that some modern compositions are of such excellence, sobriety and gravity, that they are in no way unworthy of the liturgical functions, but warned that they needed to be free from reminiscences of motifs adopted in the theatres, and be not fashioned even in their external forms after the manner of profane pieces." Texts of the variable and common parts of the liturgy should always be in Latin and sung, "...without alteration or inversion of the words, without undue repetition, without breaking syllables, and always in a manner intelligible to the faithful who listen." It also prohibited female singers, discouraged music with secular influences, and barred the use of piano, percussion, and all other instruments aside from the organ, unless given special permission from a bishop or comparable prelate to use wind instruments. The failure to allow for strings excluded many classical works composed expressly for liturgical use, including the many settings of the Ordine of the Mass by Haydn and Schubert, Mozart's Requiem, and Beethoven. S. Missa Solemnis. In 2003, Pope John Paul II marked the centenary of TLS with an essay on liturgical music, underscoring points of agreement and occasionally adjusting its principles. See also Mediator Dei 1947 Encyclical on Liturgy, Liber Usualis 1896 edition of Gregorian chant. Topic. 
References Topic Topic External Links Topic Text, Libraria Editrice Vaticana, available in Spanish, Italian, Latin, and Portuguese only.